Hey guys, Superintendent Boff here, and I'm here with a Mac application review for you today. This application is called Bodega, and it's a free application for the Mac. You can download this off the Apple Downloads page if you wish. I'll put a link in the description of this video right now. Okay, well, what is Bodega? It's basically a free online app store, but for the Mac. Um, it provides tons of different apps from loads of different developers, uh, not just apps, though, add-ons, widgets, all sorts of things, all for your Mac. Now, some downloads are free and some cost money. Uh, but what sort of differentiates Bodega from any other kind of online store, uh, or, you know, just like the App Store, is that any developer can join, but they can join for free. And they can put their applications on there for free, or they can put it on there for a sum of money of their choice. Now, how the you know the developers of Bodega make their money is by getting a little sum of the money from uh, you know every sale of a certain application. But if you decide you just want to sell free applications on on the Bodega store, you can do it entirely for free. There's no sort of setup charge or anything. Now there is a little uh, when you submit an application to put the Bodega store, there is a little uh, waiting time around the week or so uh, because just like the Apple App Store, they do review your application or widgets or whatever it is, um, and then determine if it's uh, right for their store or not. So what we see here is the featured page. Here we get access to all the latest downloads, the top free and top paid downloads, and the top most advertised downloads as well. As you can see at the top, there's these three different banners and they're basically developers who are paying for these extra banners. Now yes, that's another way the Bodega developers make their money is by selling these banners up here in the featured section of the application. So this is a very nice application. Let's have a look around. So next main tab is applications. Bodega cleverly looks through all your applications and widgets and everything installed on your Mac and finds out which version you've got installed. If you need a new version, like you can see what I need a new version of Echophone, it will tell you there's a new update version 1.0.4 available, and as you can see my version is 0 0.99. So by the, by this little update section, it's got a little button saying get, and right from this application I can download the update and install it. So that's very nice. Uh, now obviously I have to uh, just say here, um, you know, Bodega only supports updates for applications which are available on the Bodega store. Um, if it's an application like, for example, let me show you one um, here, this little Doctor Who game I've got here from BBC. Obviously, uh, I don't think they would support that because that's not actually on their own store. So, you know, you can't really download updates through the Bodega application um, by just, you know, installing an app uh, because obviously it's not on the on the store. Uh, but it's it's really really useful. Uh, it, it, it what it means is that there's one place, just like the you know the Apple software update application, where you can just check through all your applications. Uh, obviously, only the ones which are available on the once again available on the Bodega store, and then you can just check through all of them, and then you can just tell it to update all of them. So it's really easy. It doesn't mean you have to go through every application, search for an update, or go on the websites or whatever. So you know that's quite a good helping hand, and it goes through all my applications as you can see and tells me if there's an update or not. So obviously I've got quite a few updates here, so I need to update them soon, uh, which I will do later on. <clears throat> Next up we've got a wish list, just like the Apple sort of, uh, you know, gifting or wish list idea they have as well. Uh, you can just, you know, select certain apps which may cost money or may, or may be free, and then once you're prepared to pay for them and download them, you can just download them all at once from this wish list. So that's very nice. So let's go and see what sort of things they've got available. So I'm going to go to games, and let's see the kind of games they have available for the Mac. So they've got a, a little selection of uh, games for your Mac, some which are widgets, some which are actual proper applications, native applications. Um, and then we can go on any one we want. Let's go on, uh, let's see, let's go on friends here, and we're just going to click this. Okay, so right here we are, we can see the price of this application, which it says free in this case. And if we ever want to go and download it, there's a nice download tab right up here in the right hand corner, so we can download the application. So here it's got information about the application, what it is, it's got what's new and the latest updates to the application. And it's even got a, a little, uh, you know, uh, a moving uh, screenshot uh, picture of it, and you can just go and click on that and you can see the screenshots for the application. Okay, so in this application there's only two screenshots, uh, they could have added more but they didn't. So this is what we can see, okay. 
Uh, then above that, we've got the average rating. So you can see all the ratings of all the users who may have downloaded it and then gone to giving it a rating. Uh, we can see, you know, the average amount of uh, ratings that this application's got. So in this case, it's got two, two people have rated it five star and one person has rated it three star. So yeah, and then we've got three tabs up here, which is description, reviews, and press. So we click on uh, reviews. Uh, we can see two reviews in this case. Uh, but yeah, the reviews tab is just, you know, you can add your own review right from here and then you can just say what you think about the application and give it a rating. So two people have rated it here and given it a little review. And next it's got a press link, which, you know, on things like the Apple Store or the App Store, you don't have. Uh, basically, if your application is on any kind of newspaper or anywhere sort of famous where it gets noticed a lot, you can add all those links to this part of your uh, application on the Bodega Store. So when a user comes to see it, they can see, you know, if it's been awarded, you know, you know, if it's been awarded five stars by, for example, CNET or whatever. So, you know, that, that would help sell your application. So, yeah, we're just going to go back now. And, yeah, th these are the games available at the moment. So, yeah, not, not the biggest choice, but there are more and more developers joining the Bodega store. So hopefully within the years to come, you'll see more and more applications available. So let's go on something like system utilities. Now, as I said, it's not just applications. It could be just little add-ons to your, uh, you know, Mac. So uh, let's just go down here. You can see tons of different things um, for your Mac. Some which are native applications, and some which are just add-ons for the system preferences application. Um, and we can just go down and see all these. So yeah, you know, nice. Let's go and check one out. Um, Let's see, clean my Mac. Very, very kind of famous application now. This is a really nice application. And now, in this case, you can see it costs twenty nine ninety five. Um, and at, at the top, we've got a download link, and we've got a buy now button. So if we click the download link, I uh, will basically get the trial version of this application. And if we click the buy now, we get the full version of the application, which we can install and use. So that's very nice. Okay. Uh, one last thing just to cover is if you're going to write a review, you download an application, just click the write review button and this nice little menu pops up where you can give it a rating, uh, you can give your review title, add your name and add your review. So that's quite nice. And so as you can see here in the categories tab on the left, we've got a good selection of different categories. So you can go to things like networking and music. You can go through things like uh, iPod and iTunes, so we can just get add-ons for iTunes. Okay, like so that. Okay, it's generally quite fast to load. Sometimes it's a bit slow, but there are quite a lot of applications to load. So there we have it. Okay, um, so there we have it, guys. Overall, the Bodega Store is a very nice application for the Mac. It's a free download. As I said, I added down a link to uh, the description of this video. Um, and you can go and check it out if you haven't got it already. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.